Hello and welcome to this video on Blades, a dual multi-mode filter with a couple of extras from Mutable Instruments. Let's check out what's to come. Now this demo video is sponsored by Mutable Instruments. So as it says right on the panel, Blades is a dual multi-mode filter. We can split the panel right in half. Filter 1 and 2 have frequency cutoff controls with volt per octave tracking, CV inputs with attenuators, resonance controls with resonance CV and attenuators too. We can blend between these modes from low pass through band pass, through to high pass. And this is morphable via external CV too. The two input stages have both soft clipping and wave folding drive stages, again with CV over drive. So if you want to push and soft clip and saturate, you can, or you can use this like a dual wave folder with added filtered tone control afterwards as well. We can hit shift, which will link the two filters, meaning the left hand frequency will control both cutoffs and the right hand one sets an offset on that right hand filter. And this is great for working in stereo and creating tonal tilts and offsets to give us or manipulate stereo images. We have a main output and a routing section that will root from filter one on the left blend smoothly or morph to a parallel routing, which will mix these together and then blend and morph round to a series routing. And again, we can CV modulate this with an attenuverter. We can ping it, use it like an FM synthesizer where an oscillating filter modulates the other. A distortion is absolutely crazy for some guitar distortion later in the video. We can use it as a stereo processor in dual mono. It takes lots of modulation for big, thick, moving, washy drones. There's lots of patches in this video as usual. If you'd like to skip around, there's a timing index on screen. But without further ado, let's dive in.
So we'll start with a raw sound demo and we'll get to folding and saturating and some of the linked stereo behaviour. But we'll start with these as if they're dual mono, I've hard panned left and right the outputs, two oscillator saw waves very nearly in tune at these inputs. And I play around with the modes, the resonance and the cutoff to start with. Let's check out some bandpass filtering. Some high pass. Now we'll link these by hitting shift and now the right hand frequency control controls but filters the right hand one for filter 2 is the offset between them so if I bring this down we can see in here we have a right hand filter or filter 2 that's closing down quickly and a duller sound generally if we push this up we're increasing the cutoff on that side and it's that left hand side that comes down first let's push up some drive and resonance and keep playing around I'll keep this shift on in this linked stereo mode We can blend between filter modes, it doesn't have to be a low pass or a band, I can be somewhere in between. And although these are saw waves at the input, we could try folding them. Folding and filtering. So here we're going from a mono sound source to a nice stereo modulated filtered space. I do have some verb, which I'll lose. And here's the output of blades, hard left and right, in stereo, totally dry. <laughs> My input is simply the output of veils, a nice two oscillator sound coming into veils with an envelope. Into just one side of blades there, the inputs are normalising across, out of one and two hard left and right, those different envelopes, different resonance modulation, different LFOs to mode, some effects. That's a way to take a mono signal up into stereo with some similar but different modulation and different filtering. So here's a simple stereo beat and with shift on, we can use this as a stereo high pass and perform DJ style filter sweeps, which work really well for transitions. Without having to go too wild on adding lots of drive, just a touch of blending over to that fold. Gives us this nice fuzzy tail on the low end in that kick. Now a nice trick for boosting bass is to use a high pass that's quite resonant. So crank the res and carve into your low end and find that fundamental in whatever your source is, for us it will be the kick, and give it a boost. So listen to the low end carefully. And you can instantly hear where that catches if we keep going with the cutoff. We pick out more of a tom-like tone on that kick drum. But finding and boosting that low end in the kick again. Boost some drive. 
be some interesting, fun, stereo saturating and filtering going on. Now here we'll take a look at sine on sine frequency modulation, FM synthesis. We're currently listening to an oscillating filter one, and if I play up the keyboard, you can hear a nice deep rich sub. Get some speakers or headphones, if not, it is a very deep clean sine wave. But my second filter is oscillating, and plugging that in to frequency modulate the first one, with some really nice rich FM. Now I'll simply play some arpeggios just to let this sound play out. Now here I'm using blades as a simple dual mono filter with drums to this side, some nice saturation and I'm high passing. And then on this side, an envelope to frequency modulation, some folding on the input, quite a lot of resonance and some oscillators at the input. So even though we have more complex routing and modulation options, you can just use these like two independent mono filters. So here we'll take a look at morphing smoothly through low pass to band pass to high pass filtering, modulating the filters mode. Now removing my modulation, this input to the second filter on the right hand side is a simple square wave from an oscillator, bandpass mode, morphing across to low pass, and across to high pass. Now simply adding an LFO, which in this case is an offset oscillating filter itself. It's the green trace on data there. We're modulating between these different filter types. So here's an interesting, more west coast, kind of burpy, throaty, folded sound with an oscillating filter one rooted on that main routing across into filter two. I have an envelope modulating the filter there, a more frequent one modulating the fold, and that little distortion hack is feedback routing the main output, which in this particular routing is also what we're hearing from filter two, into the filter mode. Feedback, folding, all sorts of harmonic goodness. Here I'm using blades as a variable bandwidth bandpass filter. I'm doing so by coming into the first filter. I'm setting this to be a high pass. I'm routing in series, so the filters go through each other, high pass into low pass. So opening up my low pass, we can hear some high end coming through and bringing down the high pass. I would create a band by bringing in the low pass and the high and the difference between them is what sets the width of the band pass. But as we can hit shift and do some linked filtering where one frequency controls both sides, 
This becomes a lot easier as the left hand frequency when shift is on is setting the frequency of both filters and this one sets the offset so I can close that offset Get a very fine narrow band or open that up and get a wider band and to make this that bit clearer I'll just plug in noise so here we're going to wave shape with feedback I have again an oscillating filter simply cranking up the resonance giving me this sine wave now patching the main output, which is currently rooted in series, one filter through the other, this will give me this sound back on itself, and let's modulate filter mode. We instantly get a nice rich wave ripe for filtering. So we'll patch this across to the input of filter one, and then take filter one to monitor. Again, some more wave shaping going on. But I've got another feedback loop here. Our oscillating filter 2 came out to modulate its own mode. But then I'm taking it, the output of 2, into 1. So I'm routing 1 into 2 through series. So there's multiple feedback points. And as I play with resonance and filtering, you hear that pitch bend. And that's the feedback in the circuit that does come up to some nicer filtering adding some fold or drive there's a whole world of tones once you start playing around with feedback so here I'm using blades as a twin peak filter, a dual bandwidth giving me two filter peaks to play around with. And in this patch, I'm pinging them, hitting those inputs with short triggers to excite nearly oscillating filters. Now if I remove my effects, and frequency modulation. You can hear this pure filter ping sound. If I turn down the resonance, these are more like little percussive clicks that are just the triggers at the input. But when these filter cores are nearly oscillating, just before that point, frequency just sets the tone or the pitch. Now both outputs here, green and blue traces on data are hard panned left and right, with some reverb coming from the main out which is both of them in parallel, and adding some frequency modulation to the cutoff, so this is like frequency modulating an oscillator, there's some interesting clangorous tones. So here's another patch based around this idea of twin peak filtering, dual band passes in this case, with their peaks moving around. Now the difference between the two sides is what's giving us this Lissajou curve on the oscilloscope. We we're actually recording and monitoring the main output, which I'm blending the routing, and I'm also modulating the cutoff of those two filters. Removing my modulation, the same input, which is a mix of two saw waves, slightly out of tune and at different intervals, comes into both sides. I've linked both filters with shift, the width between them, now on the right, and the frequency of both of them on the left. Um... 
So here's some linked low pass filtering with shift on so the left hand frequency controls the right. And other than a little bit of warming from this soft clipping stage at the input, this is my input sound in stereo. Left and right and left and right out. Now I'll first add some modulation let's say some sample and hold from marble, some stepped random. Bit of res to emphasize. And if I modulate this frequency, now it's shifting, we'll get an offset on that right hand side. One nice thing is to actually add a tiny bit of folding. Now this is a big ambient space already quite complex stereo sound but just a bit of fizz a kind of hair or fuzz on those sides so here i'm modulating everything with various bits of free running modulation some of it attenuated in veils and I'll just let it play for a second I'll add a bit of FM from the oscillator feeding the left hand side to the right by going into volt per octave and from the oscillator feeding the input on the right to the volt per octave on the left really nice evolving stereo drone. So here we look at audio rate processing. Green trace is the left output, blue trace is the right output, yellow trace is my audio rate modulation. I'll say no more and play around with the filter. So here I have a guitar and blade saturation stages are really dynamic to the input sources. I'm folding quite heavily and this is responding to my dynamics before folding again going through in series on that second folder. <laughs> I've got the envelope follower going to the drive here and let's envelope the filter, go into a bandpass mode, pump up the drive on that second folder and get some interesting, dynamic, crazy fuzziness. <laughs> And finally, let's add an LFO to that final frequency control. So we're folding aggressively into a bandpass filter that's envelope following the guitar and then folding heavily again on that second filter. And now LFO modulating the cutoff and the LFO's rate is also tracking the dynamics of my guitar. <laughs> So 
So here I'm using blades as a dual LFO, with some negative voltage to the volt per octaves and a low rate, we can get down into sub audio low frequency oscillator territory. To get these oscillating, resonance is up full, and I'm using the number one output green trace to modulate my left hand VCA panned hard left, and the second filter blue trace to modulate the one on the right. I could also use a cable to route the main out to the cutoff modulation for some feedback to change the wave shape. So this is the first filter only, back to its own cutoff modulation. We get a nice tight exponential rise and fall. If I now route round to these two filters in parallel on the main out, I'll be modulating the first filter with itself and the second filter. And you can see in here as this voltage comes up on that bottom LFO, it ramps up the speed of the first LFO. So here we're down to a single LFO, and it's the oscillating filter 1, but coming through in series to filter 2, so it's feeding the input of the second side. And we can process sub-audio signals, modulation like envelopes or LFOs, in this case the LFO from filter 1, with filter 2. We can add little resonant humps, we can square it off or fold it, and that's what we're going to do here. So first simply pumping up the drive on that clipper. We can square off this otherwise sine wave LFO. If I head over to folder, we can get wave folded LFO shapes. Backing that off and that going for some resonance. We can add resonance to the LFO shape. So here we're looking at the routing between just filter 1 and going toward parallel routing on the main output to blend in two different filtered sounds. Now my right hand side, if I go all the way across, is a chord tone coming in and a different envelope pattern modulating the filter. On the left hand side of this control, again a different rhythm, different filter setting, we could maybe fold a different tone in there, we can play around. And we're using the routing here like a mixer, blending between the sounds on both sides of this dual filter. So here we're going to look at making kick drums and there's a couple of ways and a couple of things that I'd like to go through. A nice little clicky layered kick drum here. So to start with, my sound is coming out of an oscillating filter, resonance up full, we'll tune this to taste into a VCA. Nice deep tuning and we'll add an envelope to cut off. And that's a very simple kick drum. Allows us to tune that in. And we can of course get an envelope into the VCA as well. Just closes off this sound, otherwise the low frequencies will just keep oscillating. 
Another way we could make a kick is to come out of the second filter and trigger it like we're pinging the filter. Now we've looked at pinging elsewhere in the video, but tuning this lower, it's a nice simple and softer kick drum. If we make this just a clicky, clicky little ping, that will layer in and give us an added transient on the kick. And another way we can really go to town is to actually send this filter through the other one for the benefit of that drive saturation and folding stage. So routing filter one into filter two and out of two, the added bit of drive just gives that thump and saturation. So here we'll look at stereo wave folding. Now the filters are linked. I have two triangle wave inputs, one an octave lower than the other. And I'll turn up the filtering with minimal drive with these set to fold. And that's the tone passing through. If I drop the drive, you can hear a much cleaner triangle input tone. Now folding the left hand side, Right. So let's modulate these folders differently with some randomly firing probability based envelope action. I'll turn up veils. And with a low level of modulation, a low level of folding, we've got that great kind of percussive, thumpy chunkiness that those initial stages of a wave folder give us. Pushing this up full. So here's some interesting, almost Yamaha DX kind of FM tones using blades as a more complex dual oscillator sound source. There's some modulation going on and a basic envelope taking the main output into a VCA, a little bit of reverb, and I'll remove those and we'll build this back up. So we start on the left hand side with an oscillating filter giving us a basic sign. If I come out from the second output, again, an oscillating filter giving us a sine wave and coming out of the main output, I can blend across to a parallel routing, meaning both of these mix together. Now by frequency modulating the right hand side from the left with this green cable, some really stable musical frequency modulation FM synthesis sounds. Now if I push the routing so this filter goes through the right hand one, one goes through two, I'll go through this drive and folding stage. Again finding interesting musical tones. Modulating the filter mode. Envelope back to VCA. And my verb. It's an interesting, complex dual oscillator. So here I'm using blades as a rough kind of snare drum. I'm pinging the input, which is normalizing to the other side, have noise coming in 
in the shift mode. You can hear these pretty clean filter pings here. Modulating this cutoff while shift is on will send that noise to both filters. Bit of an envelope to this filter. And you can hear these two peaks, these pings and this burst of noise. It's going somewhat towards creating a snare. Nice thumpy noisy percussion if nothing else. With the beat again. So that's it for this video on blades. Be sure to check out other Mutable Instruments videos linked in the description. You can join my growing and amazing community over at patreon.com forward slash divkid. Hit like and the thumbs up, feel free to leave a comment and we'll chat below. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.